As preppers, we fail to recognize what world, the world will look like after the society and an event because we fail to take things out of the box and spread them around, right? We look at the lights going out as being a horrendous thing, but yet we don't realize that one out of seven houses and buildings in the United States, the second that surge of power comes through to shut everything off, will catch on fire. We don't go further and realize that every natural gas relay station, pumping station, and transfer station will explode, which means every gas main will explode, which means every gas pipe will explode, which is going to create more havoc and chaos and fires. Right? We don't then take into account the next step that vehicles on the road, when they lose all electricity, don't just roll to a nice stop when they're doing 70 miles an hour down the interstate in the rain trying to get around that semi-truck that keeps braking. It's nearly impossible to control a car when the electricity goes out of the car when it has power steering and power brakes. Okay? Your cars are not going to roll to a stop. See, we can't grasp the chaos that's going to follow in the first 12 to 18 hours of a society and event because we're unable to fathom what life is going to be like in these circumstances, these situations. We watch movies like The Book of Eli and The Road, great movies, by the way, or I Am Legend, great movie, right? Or we read books like When the Lights Go Out and One Second After and The Patriot, great books, okay? And we, because we're reading it, we get submerged into it, or we're watching on TV, we get submerged into it, we automatically relate with the main character. And the main character always survives. In the road, the main character wasn't the father, the main character was the son. Book of Eli, the main character was the book. The main character was God. Who here watched the book of Eli and didn't realize till the end that he was blind? Dude, seriously, right? Did you watch it again? Better move the second time. Anyhow, <clears throat> point I'm making is we relate with the main character, and the main character survives. <clears throat> so we naturally believe, because we relate to that person, we subconsciously develop the Rambo syndrome, and we then believe that when we face a society and an event, we're going to survive. Why? I got an AR-15, right? I got my Glock. I go to the range once every six years and I shoot paper targets. When the, when the zombies come, I got my samurai sword and my Gerber hatchet. So I'm going to survive. No, folks, you're not. And here's why. We, if we had the time tonight, and I promise next time we come to do a seminar, we'll start a little bit earlier and, and we'll run through this exercise. A lot of times in seminars, what I do is, is everybody gets assigned a number, one through six, when you first come in, depending on where you're sitting, and we go through a series of events, and I say, okay, now this event kills X amount of people, stand up, move the back of the room. When we're done, six people out of 100 are sitting in the seats, and the other 94 are still staying in the back, and you get a really good visual of what it's going to look like, and here's why. Let's take a couple minutes and look at it. Let's say the society and event is in the, the actual event itself is a CME or an EMP. And we've all ignored the precursor events. And in not watching for it, we do something stupid, like we drive a friend of ours to the airport the day it's happening, and we're within a mile of the airport when those airplanes stop working. And they fall out of the skies. Okay? Here's some basic statistics for you. 1.8% of the population in the United States is airborne 20 hours a day. You can Google this information. It's out there. You've got to do some math to find it, right? 1.8%, 1.9%. If you round it up, it's 1.9%. 6.1% of the population in the United States is either in a nursing home or in a hospital in some form of life support system. It's 8% of our population that without electricity, they are dead. Studies done by the SAS, studies done by DHS, studies done by different agencies around the world, and yes, you can Google all these things, get through all the conspiracies, keep going until you find something that wasn't written by somebody living in their mommy's basement, right? 
get to the truth, look for it and you'll find it, okay? Studies show that roughly 6%, in some cases as high as 12%, of our population in a total society and event would die within the first 18 hours as a result of violence and exposure. Another 4% of our population will die. I'm going to ask you to add these all up because I'm going to ask you to answer the question. Another 4% of our population will die as a result of traffic accidents, either immediately or injuries sustained following over the next three days. Basically, make a long story short, we're looking at realistically in a true society and benefits, one that's related to some type of EMP or CME, which are both credible threats. These are not conspiracies, okay? Roughly about 18, 15 to 18% of the population, first 12 to 18 hours. If you are unlucky enough to be near an airport or on life support or cruising 70 miles an hour down the interstate when this happens, you're basically just in the wrong place at the wrong time. No amount of preparing is going to do you any good if you're just simply in the wrong place at the wrong time. My hopes is that I'm watching the pitcher as he looks right and he looks left and he begins his windup and he throws the ball because that's the only way I'm going to see it coming so I can hit it so that I'm not one of those 18 percent. True statistics, and I don't have time to go into it and I apologize for that, I don't have time to go into it. Call me, email me, I'll answer all your questions. Jerry's been through the classes, he has the notes, he'll be more than happy to share it with you. <coughs> True statistics show that within the first 30 days through violence, exposure, starvation, thirst, roughly 46 to 49% of us will die the first 30 days, okay?